So let's go over a recap over that. So that's on this Nissan. And the signal, according to the software, is that Max or Mitchell or who is this? Uh, all data. All data, okay. So the signal off for the compressor is not coming by a common relay. Uh, it comes from a PCM, and at first they thought it was a power control module or, you know, like an HVAC model, body control module. Different ear make model manufacturers put their controls on some of them inside the modules. So if that uh, little MOSFET that's in there that actually does the transfer of power fails, you could have a signal going into it, but it won't send the signal out and drive the clutch. And at first they thought it was that but accidentally didn't touch and make contact and wasn't seeing power and thought it was that problem. So I came down here, they told me they were having a problem that it was, you know, maybe the module and it's located in a PCM or in a body control module. So I came back down here cause I was gonna pass by anyway and I had to double check. And uh, so it was a learning experience for the technician. And, you know, everybody makes mistakes, but that's what I'm here for. I'm into teaching the shops for the younger guys uh, well, how can I say younger guys? Dude, I was that age. I was that age one time. Um, but, you know, to just to see and look at things and, and an extra set of eyes and an extra hand, set of hands with a little more experience and make sure the wrong part doesn't get sold. Because if it's something where you have to, they want, you know, if it was something where you had to do a whole module or under the dash, that'd be a lot of labor or expensive part. And then it still wouldn't have worked because the fuel coil was dead. And uh, so to save them from that embarrassment. And, uh, you know, I know everybody makes mistakes, but when I hear something like that, I want to come down right away and fix the problem or see if I can prevent them from making a mistake that, you know, makes a customer not happy or the shop lose money. But what I would have done on some cases where the signal goes from sensors and it goes to the PCM or something or an HVAC module or a body control module. It all depends what manufacturer you, you're, you're used to and what you have read about whatever your experience is in this world. They call them different things and they put them in different places. They're not all equal. Sometimes you just have a regular old relay out here that would connect that. So what I would do is I get a relay and I take that signal that goes into a power control module and I hook it up to power the fuel coil inside one of these relays. So either it's a ground or it's power, depending on what it is. And I just hook it onto one side and one side will go to power, one side will go to ground with the fuse in it. And then that will trigger the relay and then the relay will carry the current with the bigger terminals going from the fuse through here. And you can totally circumvent the power control module that might be fifteen hundred dollars thirty eight hundred dollars depending on the manufacturer and you just install something this simple for a fifteen dollar relay a little bit of time you charge like eight hundred dollars a thousand dollars to circumvent something like a fifteen hundred dollar relay or a three thousand dollar relay or something like that and you do something like this to trigger your thing you do not need those expensive modules in there as long as they're getting the signal and it's activating like the idle air up control to come on and it's doing what it's supposed to do but the only thing it's not doing is triggering the mechanics of the high current electrical to a field coil you can take that duty over with a little relay uh, so that was going to be my fix on this old car because it would basically total it out if that was a problem and uh, i was going to teach them how to do that by using a third party relay and wire it up but we didn't have to do that. It turned out to be simple. I recovered the refrigerant. I'm recovering the refrigerant. And they'll do the fuel coil and a mistake was not made. See you guys later. But remember, software is your friend. Sometimes it doesn't tell you everything like in here. It wouldn't give a relay location or anything like that other than telling it was triggered inside the module itself. The IPDM is where it's triggered for the uh, field, uh, for the fuel coil, for the clutch, for the compressor.